The Gobbling Tree, written by Mark Curfew and illustrated by Susie Boyer. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, yelled Zack. That tree won't give my new ball back. Will they get Zack's ball back? Join Zack and all his friends in this wonderful lyrical and humorous tale of misadventure with the mischievous Gobbling Tree. The Gobbling Tree. Whirring round the corner, high above the ground, whistled something swirling, something red and round. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, cried Zack. That tree won't give my new ball back. Don't fret, said Lisa, thinking quick. I'll get your ball down with a stick. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, cried Zack. The stick is stuck. We're not having any luck. Don't worry, Zack said Zack's friend Jack. I've got a plan to get it back. I'll get that ball down with a kick. These footy boots will do the trick. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, cried Zack. Your boot is gone. I knew you should have left it on. Then Charlie flying his new kite watched it flutter out of sight. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, cried Zack. This isn't right. The tree has eaten Charlie's kite. Charlie stretched and tried to jump, but only landed with a thump. I'll knock that ball down with this broom, called Arthur Clarkson with a spoon. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, cried Zack. The broom's gone too. Does anyone know what to do? Jacob had a ladder tall. It was sure to reach the ball. Oh no, cried Zack. It's as I feared. Jacob's ladder disappeared. Now, now, said Grandma with a wink. Let's take some time to sit and think. That little broom was far too small. You need a broom that's long, that's all. Try this super spider broom. It can almost reach the moon. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, cried Zack. This isn't fair. Everything gets stuck up there. Let me try, said Zack's friend Simon. I'm very, very good at climbing. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, yelled Zack. What can we do? The tree has gobbled Simon too. Simon's little sister Mia had a really bright idea. Let's throw Grandma's woolly rug to make sure Simon's warm and snug. Zack was getting rather cross. I'll show this gobbling tree who's boss. He gave the tree a mighty shake and poked it with a wooden rake. But... Grace's garden rake got stuck and so did Tyson's favourite truck. Laura shook and shook and shook and then she threw her library book. Jessie launched a thunder spear, but only watched it disappear. Bonnie's boomerang was lost, as was the bat that Thomas tossed. Michael threw his basketball, but nothing came back down at all. This just wasn't any fun. It seemed the gobbling tree had won. Whoosh, swish, 
crick, crack. The gobbling tree held on tight as cold winds rustled through the night. Shivering, quivering, losing grip, the gobbling tree let its treasures slip. Tumbling, rumbling, swirling round, everything fell to the ground. Football boots, old balls and hats, basketballs and basketball bats, boomerangs, books and bricks, thunder spears and poking sticks. Tyson's truck and Grace's rake and Charlie's kite which didn't break. Then Simon sleeping safe and snug on Grandma's warm and woolly rug. Down came Jacob's ladder tall, and last of all fell Zach's red ball. Whirring round the corner high above the ground, whistled something swirling, something red and round. Swish, crick, crack. Oh no, yelled Zack. 